the Amex Platinum card has a whopping $550 annual fee. And if you've been on the fence about whether or not to get the Amex Platinum card, check out this video. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Wise with Life Tailored, and we teach you how to travel the world for free using points and miles. Make sure to follow us on Instagram to see how far points and miles can take you at Life Tailored. So guys, I've talked about the Amex Platinum card, both the personal and the business card. I personally have the business card and I love it because it gets me 1.5X points on any invoice over $5,000. And more importantly, it gives me access to the Amex Centurion Lounge. So if you've been on the fence about getting the Amex Platinum card, I've got great news for you. The Amex Centurion Lounges are expanding by over 66%. Today, I'm gonna walk you through some of the amazing new Amex Centurion Lounges opening up all across the globe. So starting out, we've got a new new Amex Centurion Lounge coming to Phoenix. The lounge is slated to arrive in November of 2019 and it's going to occupy over 9,500 square feet. We just flew to Phoenix and it was actually a pretty nice airport on our way to Scottsdale for one of our friend's weddings and I can't wait to check out the new lounge when it opens. So following up on the Phoenix opening, in 2020 there's going to be another Hong Kong lounge opening. This is going to be the second international lounge for Amex Centurion. This is the second international lounge with the other international lounge actually being in Hong Kong Airport. Hong Kong Airport was recently in the news over the protests and you can see it's got a ton of space for a ton of protesters a kind of a ton of counter protesters but now it's going to have two centurion lounges come 2020 another international lounge is going to be coming to london heathrow airport it's going to be a little smaller than the phoenix at about 7,000 square feet but it's going to have showers which are essential when you're traveling international and you've been on a super long layover. Also private workstations and other sort of amenities. I really hope they have one of the sleeping pods or sleeping rooms. When we flew through Dubai, there were these sleeping rooms where it was essential on a, what, 18 hour trip to have those four hours of sleep. Emirates also had a um, private massage. I think it was 20 minutes for free. I got my head massage and it was night and day transforming my trip. Another lounge coming to New York in 2020 is gonna be coming to JFK. Currently there's a LaGuardia Centurion Lounge, which is great, but LaGuardia is small and the Centurion Lounge I believe is in Terminal A and it doesn't work with any Delta flights. I think it's a very limited sort of flight schedule, but Centurion Lounge at JFK is gonna be huge. For international flights, you can get pretty easily from terminal to terminal, so this will actually be a stop I'm gonna make every time I fly to the JFK. The JFK Lounge is actually gonna be one of their largest too. It's gonna be over 15,000 square feet, double the size of the Hong Kong Lounge. And shh, the JFK Lounge is gonna have a speakeasy. Speakeasies are honestly a little tired at this point, but at least it's nice to see that these lounges are finally getting with the times of the mid 2010s. So next up on the list, we've got the Charlotte Lounge coming in 2020. We've got the Denver Lounge coming in 2020 as well. The Denver Lounge is gonna be pretty big, over 14,000 square feet. And then LA is gonna get its first lounge in 2020 in their international terminal at around 13,000 square feet. So these six new lounges are gonna be added to the existing nine to get a total of 15. The existing lounges, if you guys haven't been, are Dallas, Hong Kong, Houston, Las Vegas, Miami, New York LaGuardia, Philly, San Francisco, Seattle. And from these lounges, let me know down in the comments, which one are you most excited about or which lounge do you really appreciate? And in terms of the Amex Platinum card, are these additional lounges gonna motivate you to get that card? Do you still think the 550 annual fee is way too high and never can be justified? And also, if you are considering getting the Amex Platinum card, make sure to always use our links, but also check out the Card Match tool. The Card Match tool I've highlighted in another video, and it's a way to unlock a 100,000 point welcome bonus from the Amex Platinum card, which is the highest bonus I've ever seen. So guys, if you like this content, please smash the like button so I know to create more of it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell because we have a new video coming out this Monday I can't wait to share with you. And keep watching right now, I've got a playlist that's gonna teach you how to make the most of your points and miles. And as always, follow us on Instagram, at LifeTaylor, to see how far points and miles can take you. Okay guys, see you on Monday.